Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So just a quick little firmware video for you today. The DJI Neo got a firmware update a couple days ago. Most notably, it added support for the new Goggles N3. These are DJI's new low-cost goggles that support both the Neo and the Avada 2. Now, although they are a low-cost set of goggles, they are feature-rich. They support head tracking, easy acro, they have built-in goggles defogging. And with these goggles, you can wear them over top of corrective eyewear. Now I've made a review video about these goggles. I will link it down in the description of this video if you are interested in checking them out further. But even if you don't plan on purchasing the goggles, you'll still be able to make use of this firmware update. They've added some interesting new features. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at that now. Uh, first of all, as mentioned, they support the new goggles N3. Uh, but what they have also done here is added live view stabilization. So now when you're flying with the Goggles N3 or even the Goggles 3, you can stabilize what you see in the goggles. In the past, it could be a little bit shaky, especially on a windy day, but now you can go and set the live view to rock steady stabilization. And that's gonna be helpful to some people, especially if you found it to be a little bit nauseating. Sometimes if you're new to FPV, that movement can make you a little bit nauseous. So that should help alleviate that and make for a more immersive and pleasant flight experience. Uh, the other thing it's done is added vertical shooting so you can now go into the DJI Fly app and set it to shoot in vertical which will be very beneficial if you're filming for social media. Now you can now only set it to a max resolution of 1080 at 60 frames per second but for social media that's more than adequate. Now another interesting thing they've done here is when using your phone as a virtual controller you're bringing up virtual joysticks before you could only use it in vertical mode, you had to hold the phone vertically, but now they've given you an option when using your smartphone to fly the DJI Neo to fly in a horizontal mode. That'll make it a little bit easier and it'll give you a larger preview of what you're filming. Another interesting feature they've added is for recording audio via the app. If you're using the DJI RCN2 or the DJI RCN3, you just have to go in and enable that in the settings. And on top of that, they've added a new noise reduction effect and that's gonna make it sound a little bit more natural if you wanna capture some of the ambient sounds around you. So a lot of people will definitely appreciate that. And lastly here, they've optimized the positioning performance and increased the flight speed when tracking. Now I'm not sure how much faster it will track, but any speed improvement is definitely welcome. So some really interesting new features for the DJI Neo, and a lot of people are gonna appreciate some of these. That's one nice thing about DJI, they're always refining their products, adding new features, fixing problems, and making it a more pleasant experience. So again, as mentioned, just a quick firmware update video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.